So this is a much easier way to do trig um, by using either a calculator or a computer. And in fact, we can go the other way. So what if I told you I have an angle and the tangent of that angle is 0 0.932. So maybe a way to, s to write that would be tangent of some angle, I don't know what, is equal to 0 0.932. Well, you've had some practice in this. You could go to your table, look up tangent 0 0.932, and see that the angle we're talking about is 43 degrees. What we're doing here is sort of the opposite of computing a tangent. Instead of looking at an angle and calculating the tangent, we're looking at the tangent and calculating the angle. So what we're doing is the inverse tangent. It's the exact opposite of taking a tangent. The way we specify this inverse tangent is we say arctan, or sometimes tan to the negative 1. But I'll be using arctan for now. So if you went into Google right now and you typed arctangent, or arctan, of 0 0.932, and remember, this is exactly the same step as looking up into the trig table. There is an angle whose tangent is 0 0.932. Arctan will find that out. So if we enter this into Google, arctan of 0 0.932, what we'll get is the following answer. 0 0.75 something, something, something radians. Now this is strange. This is a unit you may have never seen before, or maybe you have, but this is just another way of measuring angles, the radian. It's another unit, just like the stadium is another unit of distance. Now this is a fine measure. Radians is a wonderful unit, but it's not the unit we want. So actually, Google will allow you to specify the unit you want. I'd like you to go to Google and type in arctan 0 0.932 in degrees. This will tell Google hey, I want the answer in degrees, not radians. And enter in the result you get here. Uh, just go to two decimal places, should be fine. 